Hello, welcome back to uh, Monster Train. How's it going? My memory sucks. I don't, I don't even remember if I if I won or lost the last run. I feel like I lost. My in my bones, I feel like I lost the last run. Oh no, I won. No idea what I did. Uh, without further ado, let's hop into the next one. What are we starting with here? Oh, Umbra. I've been getting a lot of a lot of penumbra, just umbra in general lately. What's going on with that? And then also, ugh. Say the patient, so that's that's something. We got a lot of space on this run though. We got shelters, penumbra, soul, and crucible extension. With what'll what, what I'm hoping is is going to be a uh, a what's it called? Don't tell me, don't tell me, don't tell me. Uh god. Architect Penumbra, there you go, that's the words I'm thinking of. Anyway. This start. We have a few we have a few consume spells. We got shelters. That's it. I don't mind taking a notice stone, I think, here though. Wing steel? I don't know. I want notice stone to be really good. I think it's not bad. And I've had Specifically, Voyix give it pretty high praise. So sure, let's see if we can make it work here. Um, there is Architect. I'm pretty sure Architect is better here, especially with Wormkin, right? Like Wormkin enjoys some extra space for sure. I think we can make it hopefully work here. The way I see this one going right now, at least, is probably we're going to play a mainly Wormkin focused run while using this Architect Penumbra as what will effectively be a space prism. Uh, and then just like, just like you know, just using that extra space to do Wormkin stuff, basically. Uh, which did not go for, well for us last episode, I should mention. But hopefully it'll be different this time. And I think with Wormkin, you want to you wanna take the Divine Hordes aggressively. They have a really good uh, Relic Pool. Specifically things like Karuska, uh, Echo Seedling... They have some very strong relics, especially you know with notice on Ray Seedling would be pretty good. Uh, wish I had gone monstrous now, maybe because we could have tried to go something different here. You know what? You know what I will say though, with fossilized fangs this early, I think we can actually pivot to more of a gourd strategy and be pretty happy. So let's take this. I don't think, I don't think we would like do something like 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 uh, gorge two penumbra at this point. With Architect One, if we had if we had Gorge Two Penumbra with Monstrous One, I'd be a lot more interested. But we'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, with, with with this early early fossilized fangs, uh, I feel much more inclined to try to do a Gorge route. And I will say too, one thing real quick: pre DLC, I felt like fossilized fangs was like was like on par with uh, Double Incant as like a clan specific, just instant win relic. It's pretty good. I don't think it's that strong now, but it's pretty good. I imagine. Although yeah, I don't know. I, I, you know, I think most people, myself included, are a lot lower on Umber than they used to be pre DLC. Also, this sucks. Not a good raw here. I think I'd rather chump with a morsel than eat it. Or actually, no. With the with the train steward, actually. Come on. Sick. Boom. Ah, still. Still dies in two hits. Oh well. Okay. Combat Morsel's good here. Definitely take you off. You have plenty of space, no need for the extension. Okay, and then. The numbers got this one from here on out. For sure. Um, doing three right now. You know what? I think this is worth it. He's a pretty high chance of sneaking by, and he'll do way more damage than these. These, you know, these bows are sneaking by too. So, it's depending on what we drew there, really. And maybe it would have actually been safe. I don't know. 
Yeah, six damage, we would have been able to just pick him off with an echo break on this floor. Ah, whatever. Did you get infused? You never tell. Either way, you know, not even close. Easy fight. Um. I do want to go with a Gorge strategy here, so I think... You take, take... So, especially against Seraph the Patient, I want to go Crucible Warden. With Crucible Warden, in my opinion... Uh, the actual stack gains are really important because its base stats are so low. So I think I want to go making of a morsel here, but I'm not certain. But I, I, I think it's how we play this. Um, oh, echo transfer is really good too. Okay. We have an umber banner here. But you know what? Let's keep. I, I don't. I don't think we're doing a wormkin strat here. I think we're really just committing to this. This. Uh, Umber thing, so I want to go left side. Let, let's get Gorgon. Here we've got Purge Stone, Twin Stone. Twin Stone on the Echo Infusion is probably pretty strong, although we don't. We, we, A, we don't have great uh, JO Crystal uh, generation, but we also don't have any uses for it yet. So it's, it, if, or I guess actually we have the Shelter, so we do want to keep a high JO Crystal count. I don't know. I don't hate this on maybe a shelter. Hold on. Give me a second here. Let's see what's in this banner first. Oh, okay. Got some we've got some options. You know me, I'm a big construct fan. Pe people have been saying that lately that like I mean I I've been I've heard it for a while that Shadow Eater is much better in the uh the DLC. I don't know if I entirely buy it really. Still not convinced, and I feel like in order to make it the actual legit carry unit, I think you kind of need Primordium to give it the stat buffs it requires. Construct. Construct does Construct stuff. But I like that quite a bit. I think it's pretty reliable, at least up until the Divinity. Then it, you know, falls off a cliff. Let's let's not worry about that cliff just yet. Let's, let's, let's do this. You know, it'll be fine. <laughs> We're playing mid floor. Shelter becomes a lot less appealing because the AoE armor won't be that relevant. <laughs> Third stone on this makes a lot of sense though to me. I think. And lowering the shelter is also probably pretty good here. Re roll a holdover on transfer here is a, is a beautiful thing. Although I don't I don't think we do the uh, I don't think we do this the twin stone. I don't, I don't buy that as being a good plan. I'm thinking, I'm thinking we just do, you know, a classic, a classic quick multi here for this bad boy. Maybe, maybe, you know, we'll self-infuse it definitely, but we do need to make sure we can survive against the attacks from Divinity though, which is what I'm, you know, worried about, but we'll hopefully find a solution for. Spikes three? Not really worried. We should be able to pick off the uh, redirectors with uh, echo breaks. Not too worried here. Ugh. Slightly more worried now. Drawing this here, not good. Oh, that's pretty solid. We'll be preemptive here. Okay. He's, he's scaling, you know, as expected here. Nothing, nothing, nothing too out of the ordinary.
Let's get some armor. Yeah, I don't I don't think Notice Stone's gonna do much for us today. Unfortunately, you know. Say la vie. Ooh, you know what we can do here? Check this out. Boom. Big plays. Big, big plays. Uh, now, actually, nothing to do. So, uh, whatever. Easy trial. What do we what do we get out of this? I could see Immortal Trade being the way that we keep Allied Construct alive in the Divinity fight. So I will take that here. I think that's a pretty good way to do it. Um, Bounding Echoes versus Echo Infusion. Echo Infusion. Uh, more or less same logic. It's a good survivability. I think those two together can get us there, basically. Um, I would like to go left path, I think. Um, not a whole lot that I really want to upgrade spell-wise, where this is a pretty unit-focused run right now. Um, and we, I would like to go to the Umber Banner. If the Umber Banner has not an Alloyed Construct, we can dupe the Alloyed Construct for a future self-infusion on Ring 5, which is pretty far away, but we'll make it there, I'm pretty sure. Um, and you know, I'll take another Divine Horde. Karuska is still very strong here. Echo Seedling not as strong, but still pretty good. Ah. Sketches, huh? Hmm. No. Just, just no. So when you think about it, right, because we're gonna, we're gonna want to play middle floor anyway. There's some big issues with that, is that, you know... Let's let's say for example we re we remove all of our train stewards, right? And we've got allied construct as our only unit, and we're playing this just purely to save us two energy on our opening hand, right? And to get allied construct now, so it's two energy and a card draw on our opening hand, which is very strong. The issue though is that penumbra is three space, so if we want to play construct and penumbra middle four, we have to play penumbra first to make enough room to play the construct second, uh, unless we then also want to take a size upgrade, which is not. Uh, worth that whole thing i would much rather just take mask of penumbra it's a pretty good relic here we're playing morsels so solid and here i i did say before i was interested in crucible warden the question is is it is it okay here to infuse construct on the crucible warden and i think the answer here is actually yes because we have the fossilized fangs it's as if we had a, we traded one multi strike for a dam or for two damage shields every time we we gorge, and I think that's a really strong effect here. It's gonna make that uh, wherever it is, the immortal trade seem a lot worse. But I kind of I kind of like this play. I think it's got legs, so to speak. Um, and the big thing I'm worried about is Seraph the Patient. Crucible Warden does a really good job of countering Seraph the Patient here, so. I like that a lot as well. Coming into here, because we already have our infusion plan set up, I'm pretty sure we want to do making of a morsel first, just, just for better morsel quality, basically. Come to the caverns, what do you got in here? Ooh. This early in the game, I like a petty theft. You know, well, we can use it to kill our own... Oh, we can't use, kill our own morsels. But, um... I like I like it this early because it's 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 it it much more potential uh, growth if that makes sense right get it early kill units as soon as you can make make bang also I don't have the achievement for the one carrot event that requires you to have this card to get the special third option that'd be that'd be cool if we got it I'm not I'm not a I mean you know I wouldn't say I'm like not into completionism when it comes to games but I'm not like super big into it. Uh, but you know, I you know I've played this game for eight a trillion hours. I would like to you know hopefully get all the achievements someday. Uh, get all the cards uh, golded would be cool. So uh, yeah, you know we'll take it. Not because of you know that uh, that thing. But it'd be a nice little nice little bonus. Okay. 
This is fine. You can take the hit here. Basically no problem. To heal that life up as soon as he gets a chance to attack and he's and he's double gorging like I said before. He's got this one on lock. On John Lock. Anyway. These bad boys up, hopefully draw Oh, should have been more cognizant of that. That really matters. I don't think I wanted to even play the extension there. Remember, remember Mask of Penumbra. Very important. Also, I guess it is a mask, huh? That thing on his head? I always assumed that was just like his skull. You know, whatever. I'm not here to judge. So, play a morsel. Draw a card. Okay. Let's stack up the damage shield here. It's probably a little bit more valuable, at least. Chip in for three. These guys might leak a little bit here, it looks like, huh? Oh, uh, maybe... Well, not as much now. Should have played Shelter first. Doesn't really matter too much, but it, it might be relevant. He gets a hit. No big deal. Okay. Here's the thing. I am not going to hold over this echo transfer. You know, big numbers is good, but we have this we have this relentless beaten by like a mile. And if we if we draw more cards next turn, we have the chance to draw this petty theft to kill the trusted priest, which is more valuable to me. Also, let's see if we draw it here. Do not. So, uh, yeah, that's it. It's only one extra card next turn, but maybe it's, re maybe it's relevant. Who knows, right? Oh. One more shot? Eh? Petty theft? No. Okay, well. Again. Worth the effort. A little bit of a swing and a miss. Yeah. Wasn't even in this one either. Okay. What do we got? What do we got? I don't like any of these that much. Although maybe I shouldn't be relying so much on the damage from these units. Maybe, maybe you know, maybe Blazing Bolts is the is the payoff spell we need for this Notice Stone. Maybe, maybe Forever Consumed will trigger Notice Stone because it has the word consumed in the name. Now I know it doesn't, but it would be kind of cool. Um. I guess I take Blazing Bolts here. I don't know. This card this card feels so much worse. Uh post post DLC. I don't know. But we have no actual backline clearing plan right now. Can't hurt too much to try it out. See what happens. Um I'm pretty I'm pretty sure we're going with the Allied Construct Infusion plan here. Although maybe we could maybe we could get Morsel Maker in there too. I think it's just a little too unreliable, I feel like, but it's worth it's worth considering. But no thank you. And here, what do you like? I think me personally, I, I like a little bit of a little bit of card draw. First first up. Maybe we'll end up taking space as well in the future, who knows? Definitely going right side here. Big, big right side. Merchant of Steel plus removals. Like that's just that's just great. Working banner, virtually worthless, but you know. What are you gonna do about it, right? Um 
I don't I don't hate the idea of playing an egg on the floor as well, but I think we're gonna skip it. We're gonna reroll this and find a multi-strike. No? Okay, well fuck me, as always. And so it begins. The ever the ever constant search for multi-strikes from merchants of steel that end up never paying out. Um I don't think we need the divine boon here. There is glutton here, huh? We could do a couple things. We could try doing like a two floor setup, which I really don't like with a gourd strategy nowadays. Um, I think you just play architect. Don't, don't get cute with it here. Um, we'll, we'll keep our shards low for now. Spikes for, I mean, don't worry me too much. And artifacts are really valuable here. There's, there's now, now there's some. I, re, I now realize now that we're on like a gorge plan, there's some pretty. I mean, there's one that I'm really thinking of here because we, we, I, my understanding of the way the game works is that if you see, uh, a relic, it can't show up anymore. Basically, so we saw a chain of gems, which would have been pretty nice, but we can't see that anymore. So now the the. Thing I'm really looking for is wing technology so we can play morsels on top floor. That's that's the big one. What I'm thinking about here is is do we commit to playing alloy construct here? Do we use alloy construct? I think I think it's pretty good. Yeah, I think we're fine to use it either way. Fortunately, the collector slows by. Oh, so much money! Oh, I I couldn't even kill you. Never mind. Not that much money. Hmm. I think you do this. Oh, these fuckers are dying. Because of you. Okay. Um. I care more about health here, I think, right now. My guy is pretty fragile. You need a lifesteal morsel. Hey. Oh, fuck. Hold on. I gotta, gotta kill you. Okay. I just realized the life still would have hit that backliner and been murdered. Would have been not great. Um. This is a lot of pyre damage coming in. Let's, uh, let's brace for impact here. This saves five health just right there. You're at 105 though. Um, I'm not gonna get there on that, I don't. Our oh, math is tough. Oh, Mortal Trade's pretty cool. Oh, that, that gets a uh, Penumbra hit. Cool. Okay. Probably a bit less fire damage now. Which is nice. Petty Fat coming in at a good time there too. Pretty, pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Okay. The construct worked out here, but as you can see, he's very fragile. He's a very soft, fragile boy. Go put this down. Hang you a bit. I mean, he, just, he, 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 he fucking obliterates you. Like, it's not even gonna be close. So just, you know, pack that one up. And, and we've survived to the temple, so now hopefully the run gets a bit better. 
Concussive Coals is like not bad. I guess I'll take it. If there's like curse enemies, maybe they'll be, there's like a small chance they won't curse me. Just fine. Ooh, Feast. Feast is uh, really strong here. Feast lets us play top floor. All we gotta do is just find like an intrinsic holdover for it and we're good to go. I think all we have to do, right? So we'll see how that we'll see how that plays out. Um Force contamination, no, we are we are our JO crystals are already spoken for on this run. I must say. Easy left side here. Virgin of Steel. Ooh, and the multi-strike too, okay. We're we're pogging up now. Ooh, and the intrinsic, okay. So now. We put Conch again, pretty sure Construct goes under Crucible Warden here. A little bit less damage output, but that survivability I'm hoping is gonna pay off a lot. Also, get to put Seek. Come on, where are you? Beast? Beast, there you go. Value any value stone targets here? I guess per Blazing Bolts is a pretty good value stone target. I can see that being fine. Yeah, sure. At 80 shards now, though, I, I just realized, which is not uh, amazing. But, oh well. I, I think we're going to hold out for double multi-strike here if we can. Because, I mean, we should be fine on defense. I don't think we'll need quick. If we just gorge enough, we'll, you know, not need to be quick. That's the hope, at least. The run does now hinge on finding a holdover in our one of our three remaining magic shops. If we do that, I feel pretty confident this one's a W. Ooh. I will take... I will take these small refer... Ah, uh, uh. Don't get me wrong, small refraction stone's pretty good on the Crucible Warden. But it does take up an upgrade slot, but I think I think we can commit to it here. Right, one less size means one one more gorge per turn. I think that'll I think that'll be that'll be sufficient, hopefully. Um, and we don't have much more need for for like another multi strike. Another multi strike would be good, but like it's not like I don't think it's a real. I mean, we'll, we'll find out soon, I'm sure. But I don't think it's entirely essential. For oh fuck you! God damn it! Piece of shit self-made harpy. Well, we'll see how this goes, I suppose. Purple up. I think we petty theft you. The making of a morsel up here as well. We just fucking brace, dude. It's gonna be rough. We we're pretty close to the kill here. It looks like. Maybe maybe my man sneaks by with a little little squeak of health. Now he's dead. Okay, cool. Okay. We're just stacking up as much damage shield as we can here. He's gonna be then subsequently stripped off by these jabronis. Uh, maybe maybe we just got the hard counter today. I don't know. Life steal, <laughs> not what we need, but you know, appreciated, I suppose. These guys down here. Okay. Please. 
Please stop. Why? Okay. Well, at least we did give you some stats as well here, so it's not like you're going in with just like no HP. That's slightly comforting. Uh, I think we. I don't. I'll, actually, maybe we do kill the sycophant. No, because I. Uh, hmm. The sycophant attacks, but killing the sycophant. I don't know. I actually don't know. What, it's like. It's a, it's a matter of, 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 of spell shield peel off here, right? If we if we kill the sycophant, you attack for more, but we're supposed to spell shield it all or damage shield it all? I don't know about this. No, so just. Why did I just hit him? Ooh, okay. We're good. You know what? Upgrade that bad boy. Really show him what's up here. Not even close. See? Easy. Cool. Okay. Um. Huh. Uh. Gemtro is probably a little too expensive. We have a lot of we have a lot of expensive spells in here. Or not a lot, a lot of them. We've reduced the cost pretty well, I would say. Uh, but I I could I could see us taking an engine upgrade. I could see us taking a grovel here. Both are pretty solid. Let's try to make that notice stone popular. Let's take the engine upgrade. I don't know. Ooh. Soul crushing guilt is pretty tempting too. It is purple, so it only costs two gems. Like our 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 jail crystals are so already spoken for. I don't I don't think we take soul crushing guilt. I don't think this is the run for it. If we if we we have a good line to play top floor with Feast. We've already invested in it. I don't think we need two different options to play top floor, basically. I think we skip it. Or maybe a wrong maybe a wrong decision though, I don't know. We are, like I said before, really hinging on finding a hold over here, so we'll go right side. Just find it right away, come on. Hey, okay. We are in the business of playing top floor today. That's good to see. Um, what else we got going on here? Check the temple. And so now we just care about like playing as many morsels as possible, basically. So I like I like a twin stone making of a morsel. Because then, I'm in here. Boost it to zero cost. Now that's a, a huge a huge stat gain. And by huge, I mean it's, it's just plus 10, plus 10, but that's pretty big. That's plus 10, plus 10, and four damage shields for the cost of one energy, which is, uh, I would say, a good rate. What's in our cavern here? What do you got for me, game? I will give you money. My HP itself is a little low. Yeah, sure. That's fine. No harm, no harm in a boon of the blacksmith, I hear, I would say. Um, third stone. I think it's fine on an echo break. If we reroll, what do we want here? Not really that much. Like a cost reduction on just our spells. It's honestly kind of worth it to me here. Like just making making the zero cost is probably pretty solid. Surge, summoning another Echo Break is good. Double, uh, double stack, I don't see it doing much for us here. Shelters, shelters aren't that great anymore. Yeah, I think we just leave it. Okay, yeah, we're in a, we're in a good spot. We don't really need size, because we took that tiny stone. Wonder if we're supposed to try to play a different floor though with these curses. Hopefully not. 
And you know what? I think we're taking this first one on the chin here because I want to get this engine upgrade down. We're, this, is a, this is a spending money to make money situation, I would say. Do a murder here. That worked out fairly well. First things first. I do want to Antumbra you, but I think we, we're going to have enough morsels this round. Let's first, let's first do this. What do we got here? Okay. Echo Infusion, and I think you go... Echo Break into Petty Theft here for the kill. You know, I guess, I guess in this combat we don't really need to do Feast. I just realized. Doesn't really help us. That's kind of just specifically for the uh, the last combat. So yeah. You're dazed. I think we still kill you. You're gonna put curses in here eventually. These bad boys down. I think the odds are that this kill... I mean, I know the odds are it's 1 in 5. Do you think it's going to work? Oh, well. Had to do it at some point, right? Don't need any more energy to try to pick you off. Okay. Ah, shit. Autopiloted there. Purple card, purple card. Ooh, fucking rat bastard. Um. There you go, take that. Ah! Not a big deal. This is a, a wee, a wee bit annoying. Maybe we do need energy. Ah, uh, no, we're, this, is, this is the curse combat. I think our energy, our energy situation is fine. Let's peel off some of that damage coming towards our, our, our shields here. Okay, hey, good. Our damage is not quite there yet. We're gonna need more. Um, but I don't think this combat is necessarily indicative of our endgame damage. Also, I did drop that uh, Echo Transfer like a dummy, too. But yeah, this, this, as this currently stands, this does not clear waves very well at all. I'm, I'm, a, I'm concerned, but uh, optimistic still. Play them all, whatever. Mitosis is probably pretty good. Yeah, I think it's I think it's playable here. Um And yeah, in this deck I'm pretty sure more card draw means more morsels, more morsel means more scaling. Yeah, I think we do that. I don't want any of these. <laughs> Not that they're necessarily bad. They're actually pretty good for the most part there, but I don't know. 
Oh, thank you. Neither of these sides has removal. Another another upgrade for Blazing Bolts. Probably not terrible, but not essential either. Lower, lowering the cost of spells here is pretty good, though, I would say. Um, whereas there's not a whole lot on the right side for us to do, I think. And we get a free Relic here. Yeah, I think we're going left. You just keep Surge stoning, Surge stoning the Echo Breaks. Love to see it. Um... Make engine upgrade zero. It's a pretty important spell to play. Then, I don't think you make blazing bolt zero here. What was in the center? Is it a temple? I'm gonna look at the temple here real quick before we make any big decisions. Yeah, I was gonna say this. I can see being pretty strong. I like that quite a bit. You know what? Where is the other? That's right there. I think I think this is worth going over for. It helps her scaling a lot. Emberstone goes where? Honestly, probably on Crucible Extension. I feel like this this could actually maybe be useful. We only really need to play it once, I think. Or maybe I uh, maybe not. I don't know. Is petty theft worth you know I, I think it's worth upgrading sure Let's see what happens oh, on the relic ooh, ooh, yo karuska karuska you love you love to see the karuska now we just duplicate the echo transfer and we're i wouldn't say set for life but we're in a much better position than we were before that's that's good to see that is very good to see if you ask me we are not taking monstrous here. No, no, no. Although I can see a world where we take monstrous and we just like we just constantly slap echo transfers on it, and we play we play crucible warden as like a tank that also does damage. You know, uh, man, could we play it? How viable is it when you think about it, right? It's it's net one it's net negative one space. So we have five. We have we have room for two morsels. I don't think that's enough morsels for uh, for Crucible Warden to defend itself basically. So I, I think we got Architect three still. Temp very tempting though. Extremely tempting to try out something weird there, and throw the whole run away. But nah. Eight damage. That doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how much damage they do as long as we kill them. It does. Uh, we have damage shield. Fair to say we might not kill them, I suppose. But, you know, we'll see what happens. Okay. No feasting here. draw off this greed is good not doing that much damage we might wait what I don't know if we're gonna die necessarily but we're gonna leak some damage here for sure Rough. Dang, you know what? I think I had a little bit too much hubris here. These waves are coming in hot and heavy.
thing here. You're doing 8, 16, 24. Right? Why why is why is uh Penumbra not hitting you with an attack? What's going on here? Math there was was adding up kind of weirdly to me, but whatever. Um You're doing you're doing 124. Written for 55. This makes you only this makes you die in one hit. Which is better than playing a mutilation here. Okay. A lot of damage. Almost we're we're very close to stabilizing though, it looks like. By stabilizing, I mean just taking a bunch of damage from purifiers still. Ugh. Oh, Blazing Bolt's my hero. This floor is the same as this floor, so you might as well just play it here. Yeah, not even, not even close to, the, you know, worrying there. Not everyone dies. Good. Tension down here. This is a bit concerning. Oh, you know what? Hold on. If we do this, if we shroud mitosis you, and then you guys do this as well. And we feasted. I think we killed them all. Hey, okay, cool. That was uh, stupid of me. I should not have uh, taken that trial. You know, I've come to realize, not worth it. Our scaling pretty good, but not that good. Okay. In the turn there. Get that for fun. Okay. Oof. Not worth, not worth at all. Um, honestly, I think I take excavation eruption here and just hope to like just throw spell damage at problem waves that that will maybe that will maybe kill units. I don't know. Ah, uh, maybe not. Nah, I think we just keep our deck thin and just rely on blazing bolts and uh, our 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 surge stone echo breaks to kill. You know, fragile units. Not a great plan. I think it might work. And resonance here is actually pretty solid too. Ancient resonance there is a pretty nice get. I wanted to dupe something before, right? What did I want to do? Oh, the echo transfer. You know what? I don't think echo transfer is that good here. I mean, obviously scaling is nice, but there's waves that have five units. We need to make sure we can kill those waves. Oh, but you know this pyre remains here? Yeah, let's just do this, actually. <laughs> let's take the pyre remains. The last multi-strike. No. What's in here? Box line doesn't do anything for us, really. Honestly, I kind of just want to take precious platings and then re-roll here. Yeah. 
Like some, 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 some bonus, bonus fire help is cool. Uh, gold teeth of teeth of gold. Like what? What the fuck? How how does this still exist? Like how do you nerf volatile gauge, but then you never buff teeth of gold? What what is happening in this game? With the Karuska especially, I, I don't hate the Echo Transfer. Now I wish I had that, uh, that... Wait, is that Lost Luggage still in here? Yeah, I'm taking the Lost Luggage for sure. Um... We're gonna, we're gonna remove these two train stewards also, by the way, real quick. Um... What do you do, right? Me? It's 15 extra shards, but it's like a lot of just damage. But it's not, it's variance, right? It's kind of scary to try to rely on it. But it's just really, it's really solid value for a card. Echo Transfer, though, probably gets us there on, on uh, our boy actually killing things. If he kills three units, we can we can all, we can even start scaling up Penumbra to kill one unit as well. I think we can. The way the waves that have five floors, if the back line unit's leaking, I think we have enough HP to survive. But I, th I think we can do this and be pretty happy with it. I think we once we get set up here, I think we crush Sarah the patient though. So. Like I, I think just don't be on top floor by the way sarah you fucking nerd you shouldn't have listened you absolute buffoon hey why are there why are there stone cold zero morsels in this opening hand what what the actual fuck is this oh ow oh okay We have to play this so we can we can actually eat morsels before we get attacked next turn. Kind of bullshit, but whatever. Um. Maybe we should have Echo broken the light wings here, but I don't think it'll matter too much. Okay, this is what I was saying before. We needed to make sure we had morsels so we could feast them. Or we needed to make sure we had feasts so we could eat them before Seraph killed Crucible Collector. Warden, whatever your fucking name is. There you go. It doesn't really matter how much attack Seraph has on this on this combat. On this because it was like, you know. We're just gonna out damage shield the shit out of them. Like no one's gonna ever actually damage Crucible Warden. At this point, we don't need to feast anymore. Maybe we just, you know, do something like this. God, look at this turn. I could, I should be playing these on different floors, so we don't, you know, incant my man. But it does not actually matter. Cool. Down. 
put the shades. I guess this saves a damage shield, sure. Play it out. the morsel in it. Yeah, get a, uh, you know, hit in on you real quick too. Why not, right? Here are the extra morsels. Okay. This is working well. I could also see this falling apart pretty quickly though, so we gotta be careful. Specifically against the divinity. Th this fight's wrapped up. This one's over. I can also see us using Immortal Trade to keep Penumbra alive if that becomes important. That one we'll have to see as well. The final wave. There's no point in extra room, we're already like full up here. Might as well play it. Nothing else to play. Also should have definitely killed you, but whatever. Okay. And Karuska's fucked up. <laughs> Who, who, who did who who made this? Thank you, whoever made Karuska. Thank you over at Shiny Shoe. Really appreciate it. And if it's the same person who made uh, you know Golden Teeth, how? How did you do this? Go. No problemo. Have I been on Ultra this entire run? Put on the, the three times. Good opening hand. Yeah, this seems this seems solid. Start, start with a murder. Put this down. This. Eat them all. You know, actually, I should have had this on. Oh, it was on, that was on times two. I'm gonna. Ha we're, we're gorging so much. I'm gonna have it on times four the whole time. Be clear of those fools. You get Ember Drain, but I think we have the infusions to combat the Ember Drain here. And by infusions, I mean the transfers. Nice, we have an infusion here too. But get the point. This combat we got handled. Let's let's start. Let's hit this guy. Let's, let's hit these guys here. Good hit. Keep this held over.
Let's not be dumb about this. Let's make sure we're... And they're, not, they're hitting into the shield, so it doesn't matter, I suppose, too much. But still, I want to be extra cautious. What's more important here? Playing a shelter or petty thefting this guy out of here? I think it's actually petty thefting you out of here. Seems pretty good to me. Mini boss might be a little tricky, huh? I think this is actually a pretty. Uh, uh, where didn't we? Didn't oh we we got two echo transfers. Okay, so we only have one blazing bolt. Start with this. Trying to figure out if one single Blazing Bolt hit kills him. As of now, it puts him, I think, literally one damage away. We have one more Consume card to, to play. But, yeah. Not much else is worth it. I think, I think this is fine to do. But you know what? Duh. It's so obvious. Play a Shade Splitter first. There you go. Hang off your damage shield, or spell shield, I guess. This would be a good turn. Nine damage, not quite enough to kill the backliners here. Definitely concerning. Okay. You guys getting through is also very bad news. Oh. Yeah, that's better. Still not amazing, though. Two hits no matter what on you. Okay, well. Whatever. 52 HP. How's this looking up here? Didn't draw the Blazing Bolts. Looking like this might be the end here, then. I, th I think the Disciple of Inquisitor comes up and just beats our ass. Maybe this is enough spell damage? Hold on. I don't think it is. It's kind of close, though. And by kind of close, I mean... We're, like, over 100 damage short. Okay, one, one HP. One HP. No problem. Easy. Ah, uh, you fuckers. Yeah, that's it. That is it. We lose. I'm down to replay it to see if we can do our sequencing a bit different here. That's like upsetting. We even, like, man. The bla all we needed was that blazing bolt. We needed the blazing bolts to then hit the thing still. So you know. Hey, oh, hold on, hold on. We can we can draw it here. We draw blazing bolts. We still have a shot. Nope. Okay. Um. Let's see if we can play it out differently. What can we do here? I still like this play. 
This made. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Let me do something differently. One thing we can do real quick. Just to be super optimal here. Let's play this. Let's play this first. Uh, this first move correctly. We should, like, I don't know, put this up here. That way we get both morsels. There you go. See, that would not be shocked if this magma morsel made a big difference. Um, that's all I'm saying. This down. This. Eat that. And you know what? Let's save these echo breaks. Let's save these echo breaks for later too. We use them to kill like the clergyman before. Fuck the clergyman. Morsels to eat, huh? Fine. We did that last time before. We'll do it again here. They're all dying, so whatever. Oh, that's good. Let's try to let's try to pick you off too if we can first. Okay, keep keep on scaling. Of course. This is good or not. I think we still want to kill you first. Yeah. Okay, we draw. Oh, I'm, I'm supposed to be killing you. I forgot about this shit. I forgot all about that part of the plan. I, I might, that, that might, that might also just lose us. That's one. I don't know. I'm supposed to be murdering this fool in cold blood. more or less plays out the same as last time. Okay. We have resonance this round? Okay, so cool. We get the we get the kill here I think then. Right? Probably. Well maybe not. Yeah, because we have no morsels here. What the hell? Twenty-five. Yeah, we're still we're still short. Look at that. I <laughs> fucking uh, god damn it. God damn you. I hate you. <laughs> and these guys, you know, come up here and ruin me. Um, do you do you kill me? Take 80. Hey, I think we have to do this to kill you. 
God damn you. Yeah. Here we are again. There's no, there's no way out. That's unfortunate. Yeah, we are we are very literally one echo transfer short. Do so we get one more echo transfer? Hit kills, hit kills, hit kills, hit kills. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. That sucks. <laughs> that just sucks. Oh well, I, I see no way out of this. And then also the next wave also just fucking brut brutally ruins me. Um. Yeah, let's call it there. There's, there might be even, even with our current deck, there might be a line here I'm not seeing to win this. But, um, I concede. I, I concede the election. That is unfortunate. Oh well, though. Hey, thanks for watching. Hey, uh... Obviously, Cruz, I mean, first off, we saw that multi-strike at the end. If we had multi-strike four instead of the small stone, we probably would have just been fine. You could argue also we should have just gone double double construct. But I don't know. Double construct there, we would need to find quick then. I don't know. It, maybe maybe pulling the trigger on that small stone was like the... I mean, seeing seeing that, that, that multi-strike in the seal shop, obviously the small stone is worse, but you don't know you know what you're going to see in that shop when you when you make that decision. So, I don't know. Tough, tough, tough call to make. Let me give you the seed. Got here is the half revised churches. Okay. Thanks for watching. Uh, goodbye.